Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate pricing table widget for you. First of all, in the pricing table, in the content tab, you have options for the layout. It will be a default styling. You have the three style options. Then you have the title section options. In the title sections, you have the styling option. Currently we have just one style. Then you have the title text option. You can add the subtitle as well. That will come straight after the title. Then you have the option for the icon. You can put the icon image or SVG on the top. You already have a built-in SVG options. So there will be a look something like this. We have all the styling options for this SVG as well. Or you can put the icon. In the icon, you also have lots of options available uh, from Font Awesome and from Icons Mine. So you can select uh, anything as per your needs in the from icon image and SVG. Then you have the pricing section. There is three pricing styles. You can see the difference in the dollar sign. So there are total three styles. We have tried to make it all layered. So you have the style options for the title section, you have the style options for the pricing section you have the style options for the content description section you also have the button button over here and the call to action so it's kind of uh, styles in the styles then so let's go back to the pricing section in the pricing you have the style option then you have the prefix text option you can put the dollar or the any sign of your currency or anything or you can write a text then you have the value which will be the amount then you have the postfix text so you can manage all those things from the pricing section after that you have the content description option in that you have first of all two options to use stylish list or the wingsing editor so if you choose this, you can put the any text here as well as you can use the HTML. But if you go with the stylish list, even in the that list uh, there is two styles. First one without the borders and the second have the borders and the center alignment. So that kind of two styles available. Then you have the repeater from which you can use the text here which will be again the html version so you can use many type for typography tags or uh, another things then you have the icon font options you have the font awesome and icon finds here you can select the icon then you have the tooltip option so it have all the options related to tooltip so you can use that but to keep in mind the tooltip will not work in the back end. You have to update and check that in the front end. You can see the example here. You can use something like this. And, and again, as it's a repeater, so you can add multiple items from here. In this particular style, there is option to hide and hide another options for example it will def by default show three options and when you click on this it will show more so the default value is the three so uh, if you have the six or seven the first three will be shown here and the rest will be hidden you can check change the text for the both Expand section title and the string section title.
then you have the button option you can turn it on or off you have the three styles available there is the text option we also have the link option you can select the font and all the other options related to icon after that you have the call to action section so you can add any other text or call to action text from here which will be displayed under the button section you can manage the stylings of each part from the style there is the icon style options available so this will be for the you have the icon size option icon width options you also have the icon color for the normal situation and for the whole situation you also have the background color option border border radius box head options available here then for the title you have the typography options We have the title color for the normal condition and for the hover condition. Then the same applies for the subtitle section, typographic color and hover color. And there will be a price style options. So for the main price, the post fix and kind of things are available here. It also again for the normal and for the hover situations. You have the content style option. You have the typography option then you have the list icon size option all the text color and icon color options are for the normal and for the hover conditions then you have the list between space so you can adjust the space between the listing you have the typography option for this part the read more toggle you can change the font or other another options for using these options the text color option after that you have the content background style options available in that you have the border border width border radius and all these are available for the normal and hover condition if you don't want the box border you can turn it off you have uh, background options using that you can set the background for the solid color or for the gradient color in the both normal and hover section you have the box head option and if you have turned on tooltip you have the tooltip options available it have lots of options to its position theme width offset distance and all the possible tooltip options are available if you want to know more about tooltip option you can check it out over another video uh, which is available in our channel you have the tooltip style options then you have the button style option from the button style you have the space option by which you can manage the space in some styles you don't need to adjust the space then you can keep it default but if you want to change it you can use this option then you have the padding which will be the inside of the button then you have the typography for the normal and hover condition for the text color background type border style border width border color you also have the border radius options available then you have the box head options in call to action tab you have the options for the typography and the color so you can adjust your call to action text here are the background options from which you can manage box border all the options related to border 
and then you have the option for the background option which you can manage for the normal condition and for the hover situation you have the overlap background color as well if you choose the background image then you might need the overlap background color that's why it's option already added you can set the box arrow for both the conditions then you have the extra effects in which you can adjust the scale of particular pricing box you can see the difference here this section is the normal size and this section have the higher scale value so you can make these kind of effects using scale zoom option in which you can shrink the layout or you can scale the layout but make sure to check it out in the responsive as well as check out your columns width to make sure it looks for proper you also have the on scroll view animation you can check out our on scroll view animations video in our channel you have all the plus extras options which includes magic scroll tool tip mouse move parallax tilt 3d parallax overlay special effect continuous animation we have made separate video for these plus extra options so you can check it out that on our channel if you have any other questions write us on the con comment box below hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on pricing table subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the detailed links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video